Welcome to Investigating the Universe, where we explore the boundaries of our knowledge and imagination. Today, we embark on a journey that stretches far beyond the ordinary, into realms of science and technology that are almost mythological in their scope. We're talking about a Type 7 civilization. This concept extends the well-known Kardashev scale, which measures a civilization's level of technological advancement based on the energy it can use. But a Type 7 civilization, it goes beyond anything we've ever imagined. Imagine a civilization that doesn't just harness the energy of its home planet or its solar system or even its galaxy. No, a Type 7 civilization would potentially control the energy of multiple universes. The sheer scale of this power is staggering, making such a civilization nearly omnipotent in its capabilities and technologies. Imagine a civilization with powers almost akin to those of gods. Let's delve deeper into this concept. To understand a Type 7 civilization, we first need to look beyond the famous Kardashev scale. Originally envisioned by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in the 1960s, this scale was designed to categorize civilizations based on their energy consumption capabilities. It stretches from Type 1, which harnesses the energy of its home planet, through Type 2, which commands the power of its entire star, to Type 3, which utilizes energy on the scale of its entire galaxy. As we extend our imaginations beyond this framework, we encounter Types 4, V and VI civilizations. These are theoretical constructs that suggest mastery over even grander scales. A Type 4 civilization might manipulate the energy of an entire universe, while a Type 5 could potentially control multiple universes, each teeming with its own laws of physics. Then there's Type the 6, which reigns over a collection of universes, perhaps influencing the fundamental forces that govern them. Now let's push the boundary even further to a speculative Type 7 civilization. Here we enter the realm of controlling complex multiverse systems and perhaps the very fabric of reality itself. Imagine a civilization that doesn't just travel through or manipulate the multiverse, but actually shapes the structure of reality, creating and dissolving universes at will. This would be an entity for which concepts like time, space and energy are mere tools, subservient to its grand design. With such profound control, what would a Type 7 civilization look like? A Type 7 civilization would wield control over space and time, reshaping the cosmos at will. Imagine a society so advanced that the fabric of space-time itself is theirs to mold. This isn't just about hopping between stars or freezing moments, it's about the profound mastery of the universe's very foundation. To even begin understanding this, consider the concept of space-time as a flexible four-dimensional fabric as suggested by Einstein's theory of relativity. Now envision a civilization that can twist, stretch, compress or expand this fabric. Such manipulation could theoretically allow the creation of new universes, bespoke realities tailored to the whims or needs of this civilization. Each universe could be an experiment, a sanctuary, a masterpiece. Then there's the enigma of time travel. For a Type 7 civilization, time wouldn't be a linear path, but a vast landscape to traverse back and forth. They could witness the birth of stars at breakfast and the end of galaxies by lunch. The implications are staggering. They could alter historical cosmic events, erase mistakes from their past, or even sculpt their future by rearranging events. Let's delve deeper into their potential to influence cosmic events. Imagine having the capability to initiate or prevent phenomena like the Big Bang or the Big Crunch. This civilization could theoretically start a universe or bring about its conclusion with the same ease as turning a page in a book. Such power suggests they could dictate the life cycle of entire cosmoses, choosing when they begin and when they end. Their mastery over the universe's timeline would be unparalleled. The very thought of such power stretches the imagination to its limits and beyond. It paints a picture of beings who are not just in the universe but truly of it. Architects of reality itself standing godlike over the canvases of existence. With the universe as their playground, how would a Type 7 civilization handle energy and matter? Imagine a civilization so advanced that the laws of physics are mere suggestions, tools to be tweaked and refined at will. 
For a Type 7 civilization, the line between energy and matter isn't just blurred, it's practically non-existent. They would possess the astounding ability to convert energy into matter and matter back into energy with flawless efficiency. This isn't science fiction, it's the ultimate mastery of the mass energy conversion processes first hinted at by Einstein's famous equation E plus MC2. Now let's delve a bit deeper. Picture technologies that seem lifted from the pages of a high concept fantasy. Matter replicators that can create anything from food to complex machinery, all at the push of a button. Energy harvesters capable of drawing power directly from black holes, turning the most destructive forces in the universe into unmatched power plants. And perhaps most intriguingly, manipulators of dark energy itself, which could potentially control the expansion of the universe. The implications of such capabilities are staggering. Energy scarcity would become a concept as outdated as dial-up internet. Every corner of a galaxy could be terraformed and colonized with the ease of sculpting clay. The very fabric of space-time could be woven and tailored like a garment to suit the needs of this advanced society. The very building blocks of reality would be at their disposal. Communication and travel take on new meanings at this level of advancement. Imagine a civilization so advanced that they've transcended the limits of our current understanding, harnessing the vast and mysterious forces of the universe to connect not just across galaxies, but across different universes entirely. In this realm of infinite possibilities, instantaneous communication isn't just a dream, it's an everyday reality. Using principles like quantum entanglement, which Einstein famously dubbed spooky action at a distance, these civilizations could send and receive messages instantly, no matter the cosmic distances. This isn't communication as we know it, bound by the speed of light and the vast distances of space. This is communication that leaps across the fabric of the multiverse, connecting disparate corners of reality in the blink of an eye. But why stop at communication? Travel too becomes radically transformed. Theoretical constructs once confined to the pages of science fiction and the chalkboards of the most imaginative physicists like wormholes and warp drives become practical tools. Imagine stepping through a portal in one universe and emerging instantaneously in another, light years away, or even in a completely different dimension. The concept of an omniversal highway emerges, a cosmic network of paths and shortcuts through space-time connecting multiple universes. This network would be like the roads and highways of our world, but on a scale that defies comprehension. Civilizations at this level might construct these pathways between realities, making journeys that once took millennia or were simply impossible, as routine as a morning commute. This kind of travel and communication would redefine existence. What are nations, planets or even galaxies to a civilization that can traverse the omniverse at will? Boundaries and distances would become obsolete for them. With great power comes great responsibility and possibly great peril. As we delve into the realm of a Type 7 civilization, we encounter not just technological marvels, but profound ethical and existential quandaries. Imagine a civilization that can manipulate the very fabric of reality itself. What becomes of ethics when you hold such power? A Type 7 civilization would wield the ability to alter the course of entire galaxies, perhaps even to create new life forms or reshape existing ones. Should they choose to intervene in the evolutionary processes of less advanced civilizations, the ethical implications are staggering. Would their actions be guided by altruism, self-interest, or something entirely beyond our current understanding of morality? The potential to influence or completely alter the developmental path of entire planets introduces a significant moral burden. How would a Type 7 civilization handle this responsibility? Would they see themselves as guardians of a lesser developed cosmos or as supreme rulers? The balance between non-interference and benevolent guidance could be a thin line. Moreover, the existential questions surrounding such a civilization are equally captivating. What is the ultimate purpose of a civilization that has transcended time, space, and perhaps even dimensions? Is there a destiny they strive towards, or have they moved beyond such concepts as destiny and purpose? 
These questions are not just philosophical. They dictate the very actions of a civilization capable of cosmic creation and destruction. The power to create or destroy on a cosmic scale would pose profound ethical questions. Today, we've journeyed through the mind-bending possibilities of a Type 7 civilization. We've contemplated their mastery over space, time, and the very fabric of reality. Imagine a civilization wielding the power to manipulate universes, transcending what we understand as possible. While these ideas stretch far into the realm of speculation, they serve as a beacon for our curiosity and imagination. As we ponder these vast possibilities, let's keep pushing the boundaries of our understanding. If you enjoyed this exploration into the far reaches of civilization potential, subscribe to Investigating the Universe. Like and share this video to help spread fascinating scientific content.